So the first example is this. Let me continue. I thought I, I hope that everyone is okay. Right. For disinfecting water supply, it is required to treat 500,000 liters of daily supply with 0 0.5 ppm of chlorine. So the flow rate of our water treatment plant is 500,000 liters per day. Okay, 500,000 liters per day. That is the Q or the flow rate of the water being treated at the water treatment plant. So 500,000 liters per day. So it needs to use 0 0.5 ppm of chlorine. So what does ppm mean? PPM is actually uh, milligram per liter. Okay, so if you say 0 0.5 ppm, that means that is equal to 0 0.5 milligram of chlorine in one liter of water. Okay, so we need to have 0 0.5 milligram of chlorine in one liter of water. If the disinfectant Okay, is available in the form of bleaching powder containing 30% of available chlorine. Calculate the amount of bleaching powder or sodium hypochlorite required to treat the daily flow of water. So what they mean is basically can be represent can be represented in this graph. Okay, this is our bleaching powder. So it says that the 30% of the bleaching powder is chlorine. Okay, so that is the 30% contain chlorine, and the other 70% is actually something else. Okay, we are not really interested on it. So what they are asking was uh hold on, okay. It, they asked the amount of bleaching powder. So they would like to find out what is the amount of bleaching powder need to be used in a day at that particular water treatment plant. <clears throat> okay, the one that uh, three five hundred thousand liters of water in a day. Okay, so we look at the solution. So we know that the flow rate is five hundred thousand liter per day, and the chlorine dosage was zero point five ppm. Ppm stands for part per million. Okay, part per million. That is equal to 0 0.5 milligram per liter. So in order for us to find the amount of chlorine needed, okay, we need to time the dosage of chlorine with the flow rates. So we have the dosage of that value and the, chlor uh, the flow rate is that value. So we just simply multiply these two numbers. Okay. And you know, liter, 0 0.5 milligram per liter times 500 thousand liter per day so this liter will cancel with this liter so you will get your answer in milligram per day milligram is just too small okay we need to change it to kilogram so i change it i time stays with the conversion factor so you see milligram top will cancel with milligram at the bottom so eventually and that's liters will be cancelled with that liter so eventually you will be producing your answer in kilogram per day. <clears throat> okay, if you use your calculator, you'll be able to find that the quantity of chlorine is 0 0.25 kilogram per day. Okay, so that is the quantity of chlorine. But do not forget, they are not interested to know the amount of chlorine. They are interested in the amount of bleaching powder. Okay, remember the one that you have just calculated is actually the amount of chlorine, 0 0.25 kilograms. If you match this with the diagram, basically this part is 0 0.5, I'm sorry, 0 0.25 kilograms. So they don't want to know that. They would like to know what is the amount of bleaching powder. Okay, what is this 100% in other words? So 30% 30 30 represent 0 0.25 kilograms. So 100% represents what? Okay, so we have to see this slide. <clears throat> okay, 
So the quantity of bleaching powder required is using ratio, okay? So 100 divided by 30 times 0 0.25 kilograms. And you know that the bleaching powder needed is 0 0.833 kilograms per day. Okay? So kilogram per day. That's probably a good idea if you can put a day there, okay? Sorry, I missed. They're asking you for the daily. Uh, calculate the amount of bleaching powder required to treat the daily flow of water. So 0 0.833 kilogram per day. 